18 forecast. Weather from where you live. All right, boy, it's been a dry May. Driest May at the Purdue Airport so far since 1964. We haven't even gotten an inch of rain. This is typically kind of a wetter time of year. The driest May on record, we take the airport data and then uh, the data taken there at the university back to 1879, four tenths in 1934, just under a half an inch in 25. There's 1964 and recently a, partic a particularly really dry May was 1988. Big drought year. We had just under an inch in May and there's where 23 may end up. Now we still have a couple of days so we'll see if we add a little more to that total and, and get it over an inch, but uh, certainly haven't gotten there yet. And tomorrow, yes, there will be a few isolated little showers and storms that bubble up late afternoon and through the evening as a little more humid air comes in from the east and southeast, a little bit more unstable. We're going to bubble up some cumulus clouds here. So 90 for the high, about 20% coverage of the rainfall. And 88 to 93 will do it for highs area wide with dew points climbing into the 60s. And with that, it may feel a hair uh, warmer than some of these numbers. But 93 Wheatfield, 91 Monticello to 88 at Frankfurt and on towards Kirkland. Wednesday, 88 to 93. The rainfall coverage will be a little bit better on Wednesday. A few scattered thunderstorms, about 30% coverage, maybe 35%. 90 a hair humid in the afternoon after 66 in the morning and again these numbers will feel a little bit hotter as a little more humidity comes in from the east and southeast so let's track all of it with future cast this is seven o'clock in the morning some patchy clouds around here we are at 11 30 and then here we are at three look at that there go the clouds bubbling up and here are a few little isolated showers and thunderstorms popping this is 630. They're kind of coming in from the southeast. They'll move that way and fade tomorrow night as we lose the heating. Now here we are Wednesday morning. Here we are Wednesday at noon. There are the clouds bubbling up and look at that. We start to bubble up a few more of these little showers and storms as well. Best coverage is eastern Illinois, but we may end up with 30 35 percent coverage in our area. And then beyond that, you know, the upper ridge locks in. It's right here. But we're still going to have this low level flow out of the southeast, bringing the higher humidity in. So I even think Thursday, Friday, we may have a couple isolated storms and then a little backdoor front comes in from the north northeast that could pop a few storms early next week and also it will cool us off. So that said, there's the heat up to Friday. Now over the weekend, it's hot, but the wind will be a little more northeasterly. So it will not be humid. It's back to the dry air again. 94 Saturday and Sunday, 93 on Monday after 80s Tuesday, though. Highs only in the 70s. Look at that next week with lows in the upper 40s.